I'm just a girl from a remote area in the Philippines and I don't have any power and I wasn't expecting that the, um, people would be interested in my story. I was 16 years old and that moment I realized that the place that I called paradise, the place that I called a safe haven, I found my vulnerability. And from that vulnerability, it urges me to do something that I don't want to feel, just to feel like a victim. Typhoon Haiyan happened November 2013. It was the strongest typhoon ever recorded in the history. The wind was like a whistle coming from the core of the earth. The water was already high and it was coming to our evacuation center. We didn't know what the storm surge was. We didn't expect that it would be that disastrous, that it would be that monstrous. I saw a woman carrying a child and when she got up from the water, the child wasn't there anymore. It was, it was like a moment of silence, like we were crying. So I went to our house to see if our house was still there. And I, and I cried when I saw that um, we did not have our house anymore. My childhood stopped during high end because after that it was everything just changed. I need I needed to be mature. I needed to I needed to to survive on my own. I needed to support myself. I know now what's the purpose of my life. I felt that I will I will fight whatever happens for the future. Depuis deux ans, elle est devenue l'ambassadrice de son pays, vulnérable au typhon. The president of France invited me to talk during the first day of COP21 in Paris. Actually, I felt empowered because I didn't expect that the leaders would really listen to my story. You should never underestimate your power to make a change, even though you're only one. I am the founder of Youth Leaders Environmental Action Federation. We are the first organization who organized the climate strike in Tacloban last May 24. And we have again participated September 20, 2019 in the global climate strike. We have just concluded the climate strike here in Tacloba and we have successfully um, submitted the petition to, to um, our city councilor, Amy Grefio. Next week, they will have the first hearing for the resolution to make Tacloban plastic-free and declare climate emergency in Tacloban. Climate change is now a human right issue because the basic rights of people are being deprived, like the right to eat, the right to survive, the right to education. Our school was washed out. It was destroyed after Typhoon Haiyan, so we weren't able to, to go to school. I cannot say that we have already recovered now, almost six years after Haiyan. I have this fire in me to do something, to continue what I am doing. Because you don't know what impact you are creating. You don't know that because of what you are doing, there are so many people are motivated to do the same as what you're doing. So every step, every individual action counts. Every individual action is important because that is where it starts to a bigger movement.